Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to this video. Um, uh, in this video, we're gonna multiply and divide vectors by scalars. Okay. And remember, we said in the previous video that vectors were only uh, were having direction and magnitude. And magnitude were just number. Of course, magnitude are scalars, right? So a scalar is actually just a number. Okay. So uh, just numbers. So let me just put, oops, put a letter in there. just numbers. Okay, just like you having um, a vector, you can have a vector a. That's a vector, but this a is a number. For example, you can have a vector a. Okay, with a value uh, one and two, for example, but you got a scalar a with a value two, for example. It is a magnitude, so this work this value like this using the absolute value that we said before. Okay, so this is just an example. It's not a magnitude of this one here. But right now the magnitude of this one is a bit different. We'll be doing like uh, the square root of because of the distance of one to the two plus two to the two. So this is going to be square root of five. Okay, and this is actually the magnitude of this one here. If you want to have it that way, okay. Uh, also, if you want to divide the vectors, you know, by scalar. Okay, you can have a scalar, you have a, an A, it is scalar, so one and a half, something like that. And you got a vector A, okay, with a value, for example, um, you know, one and two, as we said before, okay. So you're going to say A times A, right? And this is what is scalar written without error. This is going to be one and a half times one and two. That's a divided. So you divided the vector here by two, okay? And there's the, not that much to say about multiplying or dividing vectors because it's just like you having by scalars, you're just having a number in front, and that's it. So let us just take some examples of a vector. We, you know, couple them together with the multiplying, adding, and dividing, okay? So we have a vector, uh, we have a vector um, A going this way. We have a vector A, okay? That's a vector A. Uh, we have it a vector B. Vector B. Okay. The vector uh, we need to C like this. Um, the vector C. Something like that. Okay, that's vector C, and also maybe a vector D. We can put a D on it, and D is going. Oh, sorry, and the vector D is something like this. Okay. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is that we're looking for two uh, A. See, this is a, a magnitude, this is a scalar in front of A, 2A uh, minus B, okay, minus 1B, you can say the scalar is worth 1, of the magnitude, maybe something like a scalar, uh, plus uh, 4C, okay, minus uh, Minus one and a half D. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. And let us just start. So we're drawing A to say two A, it means that A two times. So we having A like this. Two A is one A and two A. Okay. Like we having one A. In 2a. This is 2a. Okay, and then we have it minus b. So b is going that direction. So we're gonna have my b minus b connecting the tail of b at the top of the uh, to the top of the uh, of a top of a. Then we have it here from here down that direction. Join b. And that's B. 
and we're having uh, plus 4c but c is going that direction so we're going to do four times right so uh we're connecting here okay and go once oh sorry and go uh one two three and four maybe like that it's not that uh Mm, yeah, it looks like this is a little bit parallel now. Okay, 1C, 2C, 3C, and 4C. I need to add oh, 4C. Okay, let's do that. This and 4C. This is your 4C. And now minus 1 half B. It means that the vector D will be divided by 2. Okay, D is going that way, so we're gonna just gonna divide it by 2. We're doing this way, but doing uh, from here, doing the half of it. Okay, and that's our vector D. Okay, and now we having the resultant, the resultant of all those vectors is this here, this head here connecting to the tail there. It's like, oh, sorry, need a, a straight line here, right here. It's like this. All right, and that's our resultant. Okay, so and this vector here is exactly what we got there. It's um, 2a plus or minus b minus b plus 4c and minus one half. Oh, no, no, no. There is a mistake. Sorry. Uh, it is minus one half d. Of course, I have to go back. I have to go back. I didn't check it. Um, okay, we're talking about minus one. I have D. D is going that direction. It minus will be that direction. Of course, you should have seen it. So we're drawing that way. The half of D is going this way. The half of it. All right. Um, sorry, not that really one. But from here to here, we assume that there is a half of it. Okay. Now everything is perfect having that okay and this is minus one half b, the half of b okay and then our resultant the vector connecting all those vectors to all together is this vector right here okay and that's our vector right so as you can see um i'm sorry about that mistake as you can see oh sorry we have in here two a minus b plus 4c minus one half b okay and that's how we have okay let us just uh try another one okay now we having um this other vector i mean this vector that one there we have another vector uh minus three uh or, or minus minus a or minus three a why not minus three a minus 3a uh, plus 2b plus 2b uh, minus c minus 2b for example okay this is an example just try to do that okay um i would have put that with the colors hold on it's better um okay the minus 3a um, uh, plus uh, 2d okay um, minus c and minus 2d for example okay we got it. now let us just draw it. minus 3c a a a is going this direction it means that a minus a is that direction, but we're going to count three times, okay? So the same magnitude three times. So just to take it from here and try to do something like one, two, and three. Well, let us assume that it's three, right? Um, okay, so we have in here 
uh, minus is opposite direction, of course. Okay. Then here um, another one. Another one. So this is minus three a. Okay. Mm, not that, but it doesn't matter. Minus three a. Let us assume it's minus three a. Something like that. Okay. Um, now we're having plus 2d plus 2b. What's the matter with this thing here? 2b. Okay. Um, here I'm connecting the t of oh, here. Sorry, connecting the t of b on the top of to the top of a. Yeah, of course. But I'm gonna have one and two somewhere like that okay then I have a 1 and 2 that's 2b and then I have a minus c a minus, I think we put like a minus uh, 2c okay this is maybe a little bit minus 2c okay c is going this direction so we're gonna go mm, O plus two C is there. Okay, so that will be okay. Plus two C. Then I'm connecting here and go the direction of C two times one and two. Something like here, right here. Okay. And this is here one C and two C. This here two C and minus 2d and then we're going back minus 2d two times taking d minus two times right from here drawing d from here two times back something like that okay not that really long but um let me just take it like all right it is minus 2d so 1d 2d minus 2d and as you can see we are the only thing we have to do now is to connect this tail to that top to that head here okay so it's going to give us this vector right here okay and we have in the vector that we got right there and this is the vector okay so thank you for watching guys again um if uh, I think it really helps, just passed out to friends and everything. All right, thank you so much. Bye bye.